Hey everyone, how's it going? Enzo here, Team Pilot for SAB Heli Division and Heli Direct. Today I wanted to do a quick video just explaining a simple tuning option for the Raw 700 and Kraken line of head. So let's get started. So with the Kraken 700 and Raw 700, specifically this is the Kraken S, um, you normally get the 30 millimeter pitch arms included with the kit. Um, this changes the geometry of the head a little bit and is what comes standard with the, again, the Raw 700 and the Kraken line of two blade heads. So this change is very simple uh, and is something that, again, is personal preference. Um, something for you to try. It is made for you to experiment with and see if it fits your flying style. So the important change is the 26 millimeter pitch arms that you see on my Kraken S and I fly the same exact pitch arm on my Raw 700. Um, with this it does cause for one more little change uh, so we'll go ahead and take the canopy off real quick and show you what all um, is done with this tuning option. All right, so we've gone ahead and removed the canopy on the Kraken uh, 700. Just to talk a little bit more about the pitch arm change and what all is done with this setup. So the 26 millimeter pitch arm setup is something that SAB offers for this Kraken 700 and Raw 700 line of head. Uh, to simply explain it, it moves this pitch link closer to the main shaft, creating a more symmetrical one-to-one -one finish. And then alongside with that pitch arm change, you do have to move the ball on the servo horn for all three cyclic servos to the inside portion of your uh, servo horn. So again, that is done to all three servos. So all together, you'll move the pitch link a little bit closer to the center of the swash plate and you will accommodate that change with the servo horn. So all together, have a more symmetrical finish and a closer one-to-one -one setup on the head. Um, I felt that with the standard 30 millimeter pitch arms that come with the Raw 700 or Kraken 700, uh, they are a little bit smoother off center. However, as you begin to fly higher rates, anything above 125 dipping into 130, uh, specifically for myself with the V-Bar, uh, I know some pilots out there might be flying Icon or Futaba, so it will change a little bit. But for myself, flying the V-Bar, uh, I like to fly rates closer to 130, so I felt that with the 30 millimeter setup, again, that comes with the kit's standard, uh, it is a little bit softer off-center, so not as responsive. However, in the cyclic range, as you begin to feed more and more cyclic, it has felt a little bit unpredictable for myself, just because the roll rate and the rate continues to accelerate throughout transitions and rolls, uh, and even exits out of hurricanes or big loops. So I felt that going to the 26 millimeter setup, it creates a faster off-center feel. So for maneuvers like pyro flips or TikToks or really fast rainbows or anything where you might even be working on the deck very close to the ground and you need a little bit more precision uh, and more linear response, I felt that with the 26 millimeter arms, it is faster off-center. However, as you begin to dig into the cyclic range, it is linear. So it doesn't change, it doesn't increase, it doesn't feel any different. It gives you a very consistent feel. So I recommend this change to people that might be flying higher head speed, uh, maybe wanting to learn a more aggressive Smack 3D style of flying, uh, and want to have a more, say, linear and consistent feel is probably the best way that I can put it. And I know I've sounded pretty repetitive thus far in this video, but I can tell you that it has made the head way more linear um, and a little bit more overall predictable throughout the flight. Um, again, this is all personal preference, but it's a simple and easy tuning option to do just with purchasing these 26 millimeter arms and moving that link to the inside. I'll go ahead and include the part number to that 26 millimeter pitch arm right now. Um, and this is again, very easy to do. You can test out with different head speeds. You can play around with it on both of the Kraken and Rawl series of helicopters. Uh, and it's something that SAB has given you the ability to try. Uh, and continue to learn and have some fun flying your equipment. So uh, if I can recommend anything, definitely don't be afraid to experiment new setups on your helicopters. Uh, you never know, you might like the, uh, the change or the newest setup. So thanks everyone for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one.
Kelly, direct! 